Dave, you're so self-reliant. What do you want from the business office so bad? What I want is my business. I, pay I can't take those two right now. We're trying to catch a murderer, and they're... They're over there bickering about bureaucracy. We're at war. Don't they realize that? You need some help over there? Yeah, thanks. Go talk to Toad. But just so you know, we can't pay him. He really needs to go to the farm, you know. So just break the news and be done with it, okay? Toad, come here. I thought I made myself very clear. I see how it is. Passed off to an underling, eh? Why am I not surprised? Well, you did cause what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. Now, I'm sure you've got your own agenda, Sheriff, but I've taken a real wallet because of you. Toad, this is the business office, not a bank. You're always talking about glamours, and now it's my responsibility. Well, what about your responsibility? My car, total, the gaping maw in my wall, any of us sound familiar? I'm not looking for a handout. Just what's right. I need it, Big B. TJ's been through so much in the past few days. Big B, I just need a little cash. Not even the whole lot of it right now, just enough to get me glamours. This isn't exactly a new problem with you, Toad. You know that if you're out of glamour, I gotta send you to the farm. Well... How about your friend the pig, hmm? Is he going to the farm too? Yeah, you thought we didn't know about him, huh? A worse kept secret in Fable Town. For a friend, the rules will bend. Colin stays out of sight, for Mondays at least. Can you say the same? Fine, fine, I get that. But might I propose a very simple solution? If you give me one more chance and hear me out, I'll see a way for me and me boy to stay. I'm not gonna ask for any more than I need. I just want to stay. So what do you say? You just give me enough to cover me glamours and we'll call the rest a watch. Please, Sheriff, don't take TJ from the only home he knows. This old glamour rule is oppressive. I've done nothing wrong but look different. You know it's not right, burdening the weakest of us like this. This world isn't kind to those of us who can't pass for human. Look, you were unglamoured three days ago. And you're still unglamoured now. I can't ignore that. But you go to the farm, things cool down here a bit. Maybe you can come back at some point. Fine. We'll do Best I can do. What a crook of shite. A government by the fables for the fables, my arse. Bluebeard, you want to talk? Now's your chance. I've just made my donation funding this office, so direct your questions to Miss White. You what? Well, at least he's not trying to get rid of me. He's not? For now. Did you take care of Toad? I mean, I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important right now, but glamours are the law for a very good reason. You know that as well as anyone. Don't worry. I did the right thing. Okay. Good. I know I should be asking how it got like this, but I just keep wondering why it happened to Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? I don't know if the Crooked Man killed them with his own hand or if it was one of his goons. Guys like the Crooked Man, all they care about is money. That's what all his operations were about. Maybe Faith and Lily weren't bringing enough money in. Or maybe they were just trying to find a way out. Sheriff! Miss White! I believe the mirror is repaired. I have to say, I have been better. But thanks for putting me back together. I'm sorry, I just... I have to know. Mirror, mirror, we're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. He's probably still waking up a little. Are you really sure you want to see him? You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the Crooked Man needs you. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my way. So please, 
Please disobey. Wait a minute. Someone's watching. What just happened? We pointed you in the wrong direction, and looked at Bloody Mary's reflection. Oh, her. That explains the sting. I'd rather not have to feel the pain she brings. So, let's not do that again, okay? Looks like we'll have to track him down later. You're right. We need to focus on the immediate threat, and that's the Crooked Man. Bigby, we don't have a lot of time. Are you having trouble with the rhyme, Sheriff? Just show me where I can find the Crooked Man. I haven't been feeling well of late. Seems neither of us can cooperate. Damn. Perhaps I can be of assistance? <clears throat> mirror, mirror, keep us sane. Show the door to Crooked Man's domain. I can always count on you, Buffkin. I don't recognize the door, but... That's the Crooked Man symbol on it. Hold on. The door. It moves. what I tell you? Wait a minute. I know that door. That's Central Park. I don't know when it's gonna move again, but I'm gonna get there before it does. Bigby, wait! When you get the Crooked Man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. This can't be like it was with Tweedledum. I don't care if it gets out of hand. You don't let it come to that. I know that emotions can run high, and you have your reasons to handle this a certain way. I can't make that promise. This could turn sour, just depending on how the wind blows. I have to be able to handle it how I see fit. If people are going to have faith in the Fabletown government again, we need to be fair. Show them that we're doing things the right way. I have enough to worry about here while I prepare the case against him, so I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. That is, if you think you're ready. Of course I'm ready. I got no other choice. Yeah. Ugh. <sighs> Well, well, look what I found. That's it, all right. move. What's that sound? Tim! What the hell are you doing here? Good evening, Sheriff. I'm here to take you to the boss. Thanks, by the way, for leaving off Tiny. Tiny Tim. I have to admit, when they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. I know you aren't here on a social call. What is this place? Or where is it? I know I'm not in Central Park anymore. I'm not sure. I've only ever come in through one of the portals. I don't think you can get in from the actual street. But you can't blame him for wanting to make it hard to find. I'm supposed to bring you right on in, so if you'll come this way... Look. This is the one thing I have to do. Please don't make this hard on me. All right, let's get this over with. Come on. That's all I want, Sheriff. Thanks for understanding. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a... Guard. You shouldn't be here, Tim. This place is dangerous. Especially for someone... like you. It's not like that. Whatever you may think of him, he doesn't treat me like some broken little kid. 
I think he gets what it's like. He gave me a job, and I'm lucky to have it. This is the only option I've got. Just keep that in mind, maybe? Because if you and the boss go up against each other, the rest of Fable Town is going to get caught in the middle. I can find the door myself. You should just get the hell out of here. Things are going to get ugly in a minute. Leave? I told you, I have to do this. Hey, you've been warned. Stick around, and you're a part of this, just like anyone else. A lot of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office. But he's there. We need you, but we need him too. What we don't need is a war. Hey, Sheriff, hold up. I gotta go in with you. Can't you just wait up, Sheriff? Hold on. I don't have time for this. God bless us, everyone. <laughs> Am I some kind of a fucking joke to you? What did I tell you, eh? Stop laughing at me. Oh, yeah? Mason, I ain't scared of you. It's the wolf I got a problem with. You need? What the fuck? Holy shit! I was wondering when you'd turn up. You know, Tim would have been happy to have let you in. I'm so sorry, sir. He wouldn't it's wait. It's all right, Tim. I shouldn't have expected the sheriff to give you respect enough to do your job. But you did fine. You can go now. You see? Everyone in Fable Town has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. Was that it? Oh, that was a bullshit ending. What the fuck? I've heard stories about you. In the old days, how you picked off those men one by one. Oh, how they screamed. The wolf is coming. And they would wait. Hiding anywhere they could squeeze their pathetic, shivering corpses. Some would just drop to their knees where they stood, close their eyes, and wait for death. And you'd give it to them. <laughs> I wish I could have seen it. <sighs> oh well. Thank you.